Hello everybody, welcome to Selenium Training at QTPSelenium.com. Today we will look at a small example on Selenium RC. We will do a exercise that we will be going to the site timesofindia.com. It's a news website just like BBC in India. Fine. There is a text over here. This is supposed to be a captcha, but it isn't right it's written 9 plus 5 equals 2 and there's a text field out here what selenium script should do it should calculate the sum of these two numbers and write the sum in the text field every time i refresh this page this text changes okay so you see that this text it changed the script should be in such written in such a manner that it should read the change, changing numbers dynamically and <clears throat> sorry and print the sum inside the text field that means I am kind of handling a dynamic object out here ok so let me get the x path of this text field first now as we have studied the x path will remain the same even if the object is changing so what will hap happen is that I will go to my script I already made the code for this and I'll explain you the first step is I start the RC okay till now I have opened the th this highlighted part okay this is opening times of india.com okay after I have opened successfully the last part is actually clicking on a welcome link because this line over here which I have highlighted uh, is for when I go to timesofindia.com website out here I get sometimes I get welcome to times of India screen okay to click there, there's a link which comes over there this is for that anyways if you are not able to understand what this link line is for just uh, accept it for time being okay out here the real task starts I have given selenium dot get text command and I have given the x path of the element whose text I am interested in that is x path of 2 plus 3 text that is math id is math q2 ok now I got the text and then I split the text on the basis of blank space now selenium dot get text will always give you the updated text because you are going giving the x path here and the text over here I am splitting it on the basis of blank space ok so because there is a blank space between 2 there is a blank space between plus and 3 when I taught you the module 7 in Java on my site qtpselenium.com when I taught module 7 to you let it open I had explained you a simple example on how to split a string and I had also told you that you can convert an integer into a string and a string into an integer that is the conversion of string into an integer can be done using integer dot percent now when I split this text suppose the text coming is 2 plus 3 there is a space in between so in the 0th array of index of the array Okay. 2 will come in the first index of the array plus will come and in the second index of the array 3 will come so that means number 1 and number 2 I have to extract number 1 will be in uh, 0th index of the array number 2 will be in the second index of the array because in the first index of the array you, you will have the plus sign but 2 will come as a string to convert a string number into an integer re refer to module number 7 of the training out there uh, out here in module 7 okay, in the string class and functions okay, I have explained how to I, I have explained how to convert a string into an integer so this should be clear to you fine then I calculate the sum and take it inside the sum variable and I am I will just print the sum after this that is sum is sum now after that I have to write the sum inside this text field that is the result text field this one 
so for that the function use will which will be used will be selenium dot type i'll give the xpath for that text field and the text which has to be written but the catch over here is that the catch is that uh, this second argument of the type function it should be a string the sum should be in the form of string so this sum variable is an integer on this line i converted back into a string by writing string dot value of and giving the integer and then i write the sum inside the text field so first you extract the numbers you convert the numbers into integer you calculate the sum and convert the sum back into a string and write it onto the text field okay so let's run this let's run this program and it should open a mozilla browser here you go it's going to the website timesofindia.com so this is the welcome screen it should click on this link to continue to the website this was that link i was talking about okay now it's there on the website and in eclipse it is printing sum is 6 if you go to the website then yes 4 plus 2 is 6 so every time i run this script the numbers going to change but the latest sum would be calculated that is the sum of the numbers <coughs> the updated numbers will be calculated right so let's move further with today's topic okay we will i just wanted to take a small example because uh, it just gives you a refresh refreshing kind of stuff and <clears throat> it refreshes everything so today we will see module number 17 okay so uh, i had started this module and we'll see a small example of uh, like uh, this one printing all the names of your friends in facebook right 